Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is CJ and I post makeup videos here on YouTube, which is what you are so kindly watching right now. So I'm just gonna get, if you've seen any of my videos, I'm just gonna get it out of the way. I have completely changed my setup. Um, I have a frick ton of foundation on right now because I literally have completely rearranged through this room while my boyfriend was at work. So I moved like a really heavy bed, everything by myself, but I'm really obsessed with how it works and, uh, or how it looks. And I've got this nice window like right in front of me so I can get like more natural lighting instead of just like this ring light that I normally have. I am also testing out a new audio system. Um, so um, I got a comment in my last video, which thank you so much. I forgot what their name was, but um, they commented that I they liked my videos, that I had a great channel here, but that there was a constant whirring in the background of my videos, like audibly, like an auto audio thing. And so I was like, okay, great. Like, can you please let me know? I'm an adult. Constructive, con constructive criticism is always welcome. They said to get a mic. Um, I have not even 40 subscribers, so as much as I appreciate every single one of, like, I think right now it's like 36, I don't have the funds to get a new microphone, so I did research some of the best phone apps for audio, so hopefully the audio is a little bit better in this video. If it is, or if it's not, please let me know down in the comments. I really want to know. I really want to get, you know, Financially, it's a little tight, but I do want to get as best of a setup as I can get for you guys. So just let me know what you think. So anyway, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and get into the video. So if you don't know who Snitchery is, you're insanely missing out. She is a beauty YouTuber, a cosplay extraordinaire, and she is one of the most unfairly beautiful, unfairly beautiful people I have ever seen in my actual life. Like, all of her content I love, but there is that whole smidgen in the back of your mind, like, I hate you, you're so beautiful, you know what I mean? But that's just my own petty jealousy, it's whatever. But anyway, so she has this whole series of videos about how to kind of, like, change your face. So, um, different brow shapes, different uh, blush placements, different nose contours, just all this different stuff to kind of, she, it was so cute how she said it. She was like, you know, it's like, when you're playing The Sims and you get to, like, mess with the person's, like, you know, face or whatever. She's, like, it's kind of doing that just with, like, makeup. And as someone who, you know, was very awkward in high school and got her socialness out via Sims, <laughs> um, I really enjoyed that metaphor. I really did. Uh, so, anyway, if you've ever seen any of my videos, you've probably heard me mention at least a few times that I have very tiny eyeballs. It's something that... I don't like typically, but sometimes it's whatever, you know, it's fine. So um, anyway, so she had a video from 2019. I have it pulled up on my computer and we're going to watch it through and I'm going to follow her instructions and see if it gives me bigger eyes. But the title of the video is called I'm a Catfish, How to Fake Huge Eyes, right? And it's from September of 2019. So it's one of her older videos, but it's got almost 400,000 views. I've watched this video a bajillion and five times, but I've never actually sat down to recreate the things that she does. And I just thought that would be super, super fun to do today. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to shut up. Um, I am not going to put, I'll put in her little, little intro, but the beginning of her video, she is talking about manipulating her eyebrow shape. She has the tails shaved off of her eyebrows for like cosplay reasons. I am not that dedicated. I am so terribly sorry. Not really. But anyway, so I am not going to follow that part. I'm just going to skip straight ahead to the eyeshadow. So I'm going to put a little bit of her intro in, but I will be kind of skipping that eyebrow portion, if that makes sense. Cool? Cool. Yeah. Okay. Hey guys, what is up? It is Snitri. How you doing? I have two things to address before we get into this video. Number one, I apologize for the background here. I just moved. Do I have lipstick on my teeth? Anyway, I just moved into this apartment. It is the first- Let me just say, if she had lipstick on her teeth, she would still be like 10 times beautiful than any other person on this godforsaken earth. First place I've ever had, completely to myself. And also, I have to give the biggest thank you for all the support on my latest video. The one about how to make your lips look bigger. I had always thought that makeup tutorials were kind of like out of style and nobody really wanted to watch them anymore which is the reason I hope that's not the case <laughs> Jesus the reason I didn't really do that. But seeing all your guys' support on that video, it's really inspired me to get back into them because they are kind of my roots. All of that to say, today is going to be another one of those videos in the same format, but we're talking about our eyes. Personally, I think lips and eyes, eyebrows make the biggest difference on a face, or at least make the biggest difference. 
All right, so I'm just going to go, like, I don't want this video to be too terribly long, so I'm going to cut into where she's, like, actually starts the instructions. But obviously, I will leave the link to this video in the description box. Please go check it out. It's absolutely incredible. I love her. If it's not already completely obvious. The next thing we're going to do is create sort of a uh, arch for our eye. I'm going to go in with my MAC A87 brush. This is probably my favorite brush of all time. It's also what I use for my nose contour, as well as the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. I think it's Soleil. They're a little bronzer. And I'm going to go up into my eye and just start darkening up the crease. Should I leave one eye small until the end? I feel like that could be kind of fun. That is what we are doing in this video. I didn't mention that, I should have, I'm sorry. I wanna make sure that the color isn't too far off your skin tone. Unless you wanna do like a full, full cut crease look, then go off with your bad self. But for me, I don't want this to look like a cut crease, I just want it to look like we have a, a higher, a higher eyelid. More eye is bigger eye. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to be using this e.l.f. matte, oh, it's so dusty, I haven't used this in forever, but this is the e.l.f. matte from Matte Summer Breeze palette. It's just really good, like, neutral, uh, there is, there are some that are very close to my skin tone, so I'm just gonna be using this, because she does stick to neutrals in this look. So I'm going to take what kind of looks like a, it kind of looks like the brush she used. This is just like a Moda Pro brush. I don't know, it's like a flat shader one, but I think it'll be really good because it will help me like really define where I'm gonna put the crease. Where is my mirror? Hello, okay, sorry, it's right here. Okay, so I'm going to go in, these shades aren't named, so I'm just gonna go in with this third shade right here, and I'm just gonna build that into my crease and give myself a bigger, like a higher crease. And I will say for someone with smaller eyes, it is really helpful to keep your eyes open while you do this. Like I know typically like you want to keep your eyes closed when you do eyeshadow, but I will say if you have small hooded eyes like I do, keeping your eyes open so you can see where actually like the shadow placement is going to be when your eyes are open, it makes the biggest difference. Okay, there is my new eyelid. Looks good, huh? Yeah, okay, cool. I'm going to go in with my foundation shade. This is the ABH Luminous Foundation. I've been loving it lately. And I'm also going to take that same little Ofra brush and cut the crease. Even though I am cutting the crease, it doesn't really look like a cut crease because the color is so similar. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I don't know how tidy this is going to be because I did actually powder my eyelids earlier when I was doing my makeup. So we'll see if this looks crazy or not. Is this dirty? All right, so I'm just going to take this little brush. It's stained purple, but it's clean, I promise. And I'm going to go into my L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. I finally got a new one of these things. And I'm going to get the shade 400 instead of 405 or 410 because I'm so pale. That's okay. All right, so I'm going to cut my crease like she says to do. Out of that same The Balm palette, I'm going to take the shade Matte Rosen here on our concealer brush, and I'm going to trace along that line just to darken it up the tiniest bit. Okay, so I'm going to go into, I guess, just like a semi-darker shade in this one. And because she's making it into more of a shadow, I think I'm going to take this little grazier shade right here. I think that'll really help the shadowness of it. I'm really focusing on the inner half of my eye. The outer half is going to have a lot going on later, so I'm not too worried about it. Oh, well, okay, let me put a little bit more in the inner because I did kind of focus it on the outer. I don't do this stuff every day because it's not really essential for my eye shape. You can see when my eyes are staring straight forward, you can't really see a difference. It's more so for when I lift my eyes like this or you're seeing me underneath, this eye just looks a little bit bigger already. Next, we are going to do my favorite eye trick of all time, literally. I cannot live without this now. I started doing it about a year ago and I've done it every day since. But we're going to take that little brush and we are going to draw on fake under eye bags. Going in with a mix of Matt Rosen and Matt Abdul. This is not a sponsored video by any company. It's also not sponsored by the balm, but I, ah, oh my god, ah, oh my god, I do love this palette, I think these are really good neutral staples, I'm just gonna draw along the shape of my eye with a mix of that brown and that gray, a little under eye bag, and regardless of what eye shape you have, just make sure you follow the eye shape, you can, this sounds sort of gross, but you can actually feel your eyeball when you press down with the brush, so I just follow that. Make sure it's not just one line. You want to make it kind of soft. But you also don't want to soften it too much because you don't want it to look like eyeshadow. You want it to look like a shadow. Okay, so I think I want to take a blend of that same little grazy shade and then also this like little darker brown shade because she does go a little bit darker on her fake under eye bags. I'm going to blend those two. And then, you know, as she said, you know, you can always kind of feel like where your eyeball stops and just to kind of follow that ridge.
Should not have picked this brush. This brush is making my eyes water. Yeah, and she took her finger to blend it out. I'm just gonna take one of the I'm just gonna take one of the little smaller brushes I use and lightly, lightly blend it out because she says you still want to keep it a little defined. This versus this, this eye looks so much bigger. It's literally my number one trick I tell anybody to do. It sounds crazy, like draw on eye bags, but shit works. Next with the same palette, I'm gonna go into Matte Malloy. I'm going to just pat that along right underneath my lash line. I don't want it to look white, I just want it to look bright. So I'm not making this too pigmented. If you have paler skin, you could probably get away with adding more white, but on me it's pretty stark. Okay, so I'm just gonna take this yellower shade. I don't know, if this might be a little too dark for me, but hopefully it's not. And then I am just going to, I don't really like that brush that I used initially for the under eye bag, so I'm gonna take something else. Is this one? Yeah, this one's clean. This is just like a little pencil brush, and so I'm gonna take this one, and she kind of just fills in that skin gap between um, her lower, like her lower waterline, and then that fake eye bag with this white shade. Honestly, I think my that light shade should be a little bit lighter because I don't even see that. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna take this little. It's what I use to, it's these two little shades right here. I use these to like bake my nose literally every single day. So I'm just going to mix the little pinker one and the little littler yellow one and then use those instead because there's a little bit brighter. Next, I'm going to go in with my eyeliner. Now, this could be an entirely separate video altogether, but I do like doing winged eyeliner with this technique. The reason being, we just added that sort of faux cut crease in the under eye bag, which extends our eye uh, vertically, but I also want to extend my eye horizontally as much as possible if I'm trying to make it look as big as possible. And a wing is just about the quickest and easiest way to do that. I think I kind of draw my wings weird, actually. And if you want a whole video on how I draw them, I can do that. But I start at the end and drag it along the top. Fill in the bottom so that they meet up in a point. And then I stop right about here. Right before the end of my lashes, I don't want a thick line on the inside of my eye because that will shut our eye down. It'll close it off. We really want the inside to be open so it looks bigger and brighter. But I am getting really heavy with it on the outer corner. All right, so she's far more talented than me when it comes to uh, liquid eyeliner. So I'm going to, this is my Physician's Formula uh, Waterproof eye, bo eye Booster. So I'm just gonna put on a wing. Um, her eyelids are bigger than mine, so she can kind of do that well obviously and she's just probably much better at it but like she can just do that one line and swoop it in me it takes me a little bit longer so um i am gonna speed through this really quick because it's gonna take me quite a while okay okay thanks Okay, so as you can see, um, I made mine just as long as she made hers, but obviously I can't make mine quite as thick at the tail because it would disappear when I have my eyes open because I have hooded eyes. So mine is much thinner than hers is, but it's just as long and I did only bring it, like I didn't bring it all the way in just like she said to do. I'm gonna take my mascara. This is the Kush Mascara from Milk Makeup. It is my favorite mascara of all time. I will say it does get a little clumpy, but it's worth it because personally, I like my lashes to look kind of clumpy. So for my bottom lashes, I use kind of a weird technique, okay? I want my bottom lashes to be really full and big because again, we're trying to make our eye look bigger, so everything has to be a little bit exaggerated. However, I don't wanna close off my eye by having a lot of black down here because we did just create that under eye bag. So what I do is I clump my bottom lashes together. I try to have like sort of little pairs, I'll show you, of lashes so it looks like I have a lot of lower lash, but it still leaves my eye open. So I take my mascara on the tip. I don't use it like this ever. I just go on the tip. And when you run it along, they just sort of naturally clump together. Run it along your lashes and you'll see little clumps start to form. So with the brush, I make sure to separate them. See, you can see right there, there's a little clump. You can see, even as I'm doing it, they're starting to separate. And look how much bigger that made my eye look because we have some volume down here now. We have some lash, but even though we have all that black, it's not closing off our eye. All right, so this is gonna be really difficult for me because usually I use a very thin rubberized wand to do my lower lashes because I like them like much more feathery and evened out, but 
We're sticking to the process. If my eyeballs can look like hers after this, I don't care. So instead of using my skinny little wet and wild one, I'm just gonna use my typical Essence Lash Princess and I'm gonna try to clump my lower lashes together. I'm gonna, I am gonna take off some of the excess on the wand just because I'm not really good at not getting things everywhere, if that makes sense. Like I typically get my mascara all over my face. I probably should have zoomed y'all in for all this, right? I'm so sorry. <laughs> Just give me a sec. Sorry. Okay. All right. So I did that and it did actually really, really work. I did get it a little bit on my lower lash line, but once it dries, I'll go flick it off in the bathroom. It's not that big of a video. Oh, and then she's putting it obviously on her upper lashes as well. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to curl my lashes first just because I always do that. And also I'm going to put on a touch of my um, eyelash primer. This is the one by Blink. I love this just because it keeps my eyelashes curled. Wait, does she do anything fancy with her mascara? Shh, fancy. I'm gonna match the top with some mascara. Also, side note for the wing, you can make that as big or as small as you want. I prefer a really big wing. As you can see, the rest of my makeup is pretty dramatic, so it works for me. But if you like a more natural look, you can keep the wing much, much smaller. Just follow the rest of the steps and you'll get the same effect. Okay, she didn't do anything different for her eye or her upper eyelashes, so I'm just gonna do that real quick. If you want your eyes to look even bigger, I do this sometimes. I take a bit of a thicker brush. I'm gonna take a darker brown color, in this case, matte wood which we use for our brows. And I'm gonna take that under eye bag color down even further. Let's do it, let's do it. I feel, hers did go a little bit darker than mine anyway, so I feel like that's totally fine. I can totally do it. Okay, so I'm gonna mix that same little grayish and dark brown color and again, just put it, I'm gonna use a different brush. I really didn't like that brush. It kind of hurt my eyeball. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. Okay. Signature. Next, I'm going to work on the brow a little bit more. I'm going to be taking a bit of a bigger angled brush. This is the Morphe MB11. Taking that matte Malloy shade, that stark white, and I'm just going to press that underneath my brow. And then drag the color down. Again, I don't like my brows to look super concealer-y, super really harsh, but I do want them to look lifted, so I do add a little bit of color underneath that brow. Okay. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna just go ahead. I'm gonna go straight in with the ones in this palette just because they are a little bit brighter than that one. I did already kind of put a little bit of highlighter under my brow, but I usually just like use a super diffuse brush and do like my highlighter shade, like a more glittery one. I use the Wet n Wild Precious Petals. So this one definitely has much more pigment to it than that one does. Using the same brush, I'm gonna be going in with my Bare Minerals highlighter. This is in the shade Free. I've been loving this lately because it's not very dramatic. It's pretty subtle. I'm gonna take some pigment and run it right along the same spot just to give it a little bit of a glow. You can see when I turn my head, a little bit of a sheen. Not only does it disguise that stark white, but it also helps lift the brow in and of itself. And I'm also gonna be taking that shade on the inner corner of my eye, running it right along the bottom here where we placed that white originally. Alrighty. Let's do it. I'm, again, as I said, I'm using the Wet n Wild Precious Petals. Okay, sorry. Actually, instead, I'm going to reach for my Mary, uh, the Balm's Mary Luminizer because this does have much more of like a white, bright pigment to it. That Precious Petals one is more of like a pinky champagne -y that kind of just like blends into my skin tone. So I'm going to take this one and kind of build that up in the inner corner just to make it even brighter and whiter. And I'll add it a little bit to the brow bone as well. We have lashes next. Now lashes, again, are sort of a stylistic preference. My lashes that I wear really, really, really vary much like my brows. I don't remember where these are from. I wish I did, but if you can see, they are also pretty separated like my lower lashes, but they're not as pointy at the top. They sort of fluff out. I like that lately. Do I even have clean eyelashes? I don't know if I, I don't know if any of my eyelashes I can actually use. Okay, sorry. So I was actually clean. I was in the process of cleaning some of my fake eyelashes. This is literally the only pair I have that kind of looks similar. Not really, but I think it would be more of like an equalizer than just not putting any lashes on at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these on. All right, okay, so I have those done. Uh, these, I think I fudged up a little bit in the inner corner. They look a little too clumpy, but once they like really dry, I can always break them apart with like tweezers or something. This last step is kind of for giggles. For some reason, I only have one blue contact. I do not know why, but just to show more of a difference, I'm gonna go ahead and put this one in. These are fresh look color blends. Okay. Um. 
I don't wear contacts. I have very good eyesight. And also I, anything with like eyeballs freaks me out. Anything fingers in the no, no. So I'm just gonna skip ahead on this part. Okay. Okay, thanks. Normally I wear their sterling gray contacts or like my everyday prescription contact and I have found that on my skin tone Having a lighter brighter eye does make my eye look a little bit bigger It's the opposite for some people sometimes darker eyes actually make their eyes look a little bit bigger If you wear circle lenses your eyes will definitely look larger, but on me They've always looked a little crazy, so I don't really fuck with them, but there you go That is how to make your eye look significantly larger from this To this if you made it to the end of this video go ahead and put an eye emoji Alrighty, so wait, let me zoom out because this is really close and uncomfortable. I know, I'm sorry. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let these eyelashes dry a little bit so that I can like kind of break apart this like super clumpage on the inside and then also curl them because curling does make your eyes look a little bit bigger. And then also something I noticed she did not do was do like a nude eyeliner in the waterline. And I actually really want to do that just to see if it can make it any more poppier like make my eye look even bigger so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take this LA girl ultimate eye eyeliner this is a nudier color I mean it, it's it's nude instead of just straight up white because a lot of times white on your lower lash line looks a little more pop art or cosplay or not just trying to make your eyes look bigger for like an everyday type of ordeal so instead I'm just gonna use this one as I don't know if I said this but this is the LA girl ultimate eye intense stay auto liner this is a really good eyeliner it's super it's super affordable okay so now I'm just gonna like ever so gently curl my false lashes with my eyelash curler I'm saying gently because it is like still not completely dry, but I will say having that curlage does give like the, an extra lift to your eye and usually giving a lift makes your eyes look bigger. Okay, so this is the final look. I definitely think it works. I mean, obviously, I mean, you'd have to be a little insane to think that this eye does not look bigger than this eye. So I'm gonna do kind of what she did at the end of her video. Also, I think it's make like a really dope ass thumbnail, so. Just give me a second, okay? Okay. I took my hair back so you can like really see, so. Which eye do you think looks bigger? I think this would be like a really good eyesight test for people, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I could be crazy. But anyway, um, I love how this looks. I feel like, honestly, I could have gone a little bit lower with the wing. I think the wing's a little much for me, especially my taste, but I do really like it. I do really like how this looks. Obviously, it totally works. It does look incredibly natural. I think I could have even gone a little bit deeper with the eye bags with the upper here, but I didn't want to go too crazy. I just wanted to see if I could make my eyes very naturally look bigger, and I really think it worked. So, I'm kind of obsessed with this. I kind of want to make this a series. Like, obviously, as I said, Snitchery makes all these videos. So does Alexandra O'Neill. I think that's her name. She does a lot of videos like this. Hers are more like, dude, blush placement can change your whole face. Or, dude, your brows can change your whole face. Stuff like that. I would love to. I think it would be so cool, like, doing, like, one at a time. And then at the very end, just, like, combining them all into, like, one Sims makeover. And, like, you know, having my face look completely different on one side than the other. I think that would be so cool. Like, I feel like that would be such a fun video idea. So, if you're at all interested in seeing that, please let me know in the comments down below. I have been getting a lot more views on my videos. Um, I'm really, really excited about it. I know it's not a lot, but, like, I posted a video two days ago and it already has, like, 200 and something views. And for me, that's, like... It's pretty freaking cool, you know, so um, thank you so much for your support. Um, I know a lot of it has to do with me uploading more regularly now that I am unemployed and can't take the time to make a little bit better quality of video. Again, as I said in the beginning, please let me know. I really like this setup a lot more. Please let me know if you liked this one or the other one better. I feel like this one just has a little bit more decor in the background. It's not just like my ugly ass door and like a couple of things on the wall. I feel like this one's a little bit better. Um, also, if the audio sounds at all better to you, please let me know. There is a couple of like $20, $30 mics on Amazon that if this audio doesn't work, I might try and get with my tax return, as pathetic as that sounds. But please just let me know if you thought this was a little bit better quality. If there's anything else, constructive criticism is always welcome on this channel. I'm an adult, okay? We're all adults. 
I am so thankful that for that person's comment. Like, they were incredibly sweet about it. They're like, hey, love your video. Great quality. But there's this annoying, worrying thing I think this would really help you out. It's like, oh, my God. Thank you so much. Like, I need advice. Like, I don't know. I'm new to, like, you know what I mean? So, I don't know. Constructive criticism is always welcome. Just don't be mean, okay? And all you people with, like, the really obscene, vulgar um, thumbnails leaving comments, like, that get deleted five minutes later, please stop. Okay? I don't even be saying all of that on my YouTube when I'm commenting back on people's very nice comments about how they're subscribing to me. So there's that. Uh, but anyway, thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Yeah, please like and subscribe. Leave me a comment. Leave me a thumbs up. Leave me anything. Just let me know how you're doing, how your day is going. Is anyone else like in an emotional state because they've been nonstop listening to Driver's License by uh, uh, Olivia Rodrigo? Please let me know. I have listened to it nonstop. My boyfriend thinks that I have issues, which I could because I'm like crying about it constantly. And it's like, I'm in a very happy, stable relationship and I'm still fucking crying. So anyway, um, I hope you're having a great day or night wherever you are in this crazy, crazy world. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.